So, well, that, that's my address. On this bag, I have something that maybe can go on this board. If you look at this board, other than the handing M1, all these reels are very, very lightweight. Even the bit casters, the big I star, the small I star Aurora, the micro monster, the silver feather, and the Solo King Acura are all very lightweight compared to their pairs. And I have reels in here from 170 to 160, 130, 130 something and under 130 grams like the Pteropos. But this is even lighter. This reel right here you can have it in three sizes. The weight on them doesn't really matter because you get deeper or shallower spools with each version and by the end when you put the line in you will get to the same weight so they have the 800 the 1000 and the 500 versions and they will differ in one gram but if we take this out so you can see you have the bag and then you have floor insulation for some reason instead of bubble wrap this will not cushion anything and this destroyed package uh, we have the Teban Polar Knight whatever that means and I will give a closer look on the table where I will give you my opinion on it for the first time as I see it I'll see you guys on the table so now on the table you can clearly see that this box has been Romarioed so someone has kicked it or throw it but the reel survived and that's the most important thing in here i can show you what everything says and the good thing about this box is that there's no shinglish on it everything it's clear and you can understand what they are trying to convey on the box and you have in here the specs of the reel uh, some logos with some technologies like shimano and daya do but just a simple box note it's not an individual box like some other reels you just have a, a pen mark on your model the reel comes inside of this bag you have there that triangular cardboard it's the quality control supposedly and you have a nice a4 page with chinese instructions with blue ink for some reason but let's put everything aside in here the quality control card that i told you let's take the box to here and take the reel out of the back everything on the back comes loose inside of the box the handle just banging the reel in the shipping but it survived that's the important thing but let's have a closer look on the handle so the first part near the screwing it's aluminium the rest it's some kind of reinforced nylon in here you can hear there's a bit of slack on the knob in here i'm trying to flex the arm but i couldn't so it's strong enough even though i hate plastic on my handles this one it's not that bad it's it's it doesn't flex that's the most important thing the real it's pretty smooth out of the box for something so plasticky on the outside it's not that bad the drag sounds like the beginning of gta san andreas if you remember that song the well auto closing feature works as well as in any other budget reel so just sort on some places and not every time so now that i will try to take the spool out to show you the drag system and everything else i will give you the rest of the specs the 500 800 and 1000 models so all of them have 5 plus 1 ball bearings all of them have a 5.1 to 1 gear ratio and i think all of them have a 4 kilo drag system even though the 500 says it has 2 kilos the 800 says it has 3 kilos i think they are all the same on all the reels it was just the guy making the graphics that messed up my drag is for sure four kilos not three and i have the 800 
Also, don't bother with the 800 or the 1000 because this is an ultralight reel. You'll be putting, um, you should be putting braid on it, and you really need a shallow spool. Even though it's heavier, it will save you a lot of money on braid. I put 0.2 p braid on mine, and it works very well. In here, I show you the assembly of the drag alarm the top of the spool where you have the drag washers they are felt on this reel and they have a gasket so water doesn't go in even if water goes in if they are properly greased it will not be a problem for a long time but still in here you can check that the reel it's fairly smooth out of the box i was really surprised for such a plasticky feeling uh not that it looks plastic but it it's plastic uh, it performs very well and it, it feels very well put together. Even though it has some flashing on the rotor, it's nothing that you can feel with your fingers, just visual. But it works very well. And now I will try to put it on the scale to confirm that my reel should weigh 116 or 117 grams. So... Mine is the 800, so it should weigh 116 grams. Let's see if we are lied about 117.4. So it's inside the error. It's It can be a bit of too much grease, can make that increase on weight. Let's try on a different position. Again, 117.4. Uh, maybe I'm using this to sell drugs and I'm trying to rob my clients. I don't know. Uh, should not call the cops on me you're not a snitch but it's the weight that i have sometimes it's a bit over sometimes it's a bit under but still even though i'm changing the positions on the scale the weight is always the same 117.4 still 10 grams lighter than the pteropos which was my lightest reel to date but now we get to the measurements the spool on this reel it's around 40 39 uh, millimeters the foot on the reel it's 60 and the overall height of the reel it's 96 95 millimeters so fairly small not the smallest but very very compact design the body of the reel it's less than 50 percent of its size in relation to the rotor and the spool the bail arm it's fairly thick for such a low weight reel and the last sound check on this reel and on the end of the video i'll give you a bit of a teaser of the sound of the drag in real life on um, on the water because i, I already fished this reel and I can tell you it actually surprised me you should watch the video when it drops i think two or three days after this one because this reel for some applications like creek fishing it's it's you should see the video please please see the video please please eh. mm. in here the little teaser and it's on and now it's off bye